Swimming clubs across regional Australia have been the breeding ground for world-class swimming talent uh, down through the generations in this country. Uh, so many champions have started off at pools like this one at the Thierry Swimming Club, home of the Thierry Sharks. So I couldn't pass up the chance to catch up with local coach Candace Stewart as she puts her kids through the paces. So how good is this swimming pool? It's, it's a ripper, isn't it? It is. It's a pretty amazing facility. It's one of Thierry's greatest assets, I'd reckon. I was pretty amazed when I first moved here that there was an Olympic-sized swimming pool here. That is a pretty good facility for a tiny little town like Thierry. I teach Learn to Swim here. I'm the treasurer, the race secretary and the registrar of the swimming club. How long have you been in Thierry? Uh, four and a half years. Yeah, living in Thierry is fun, especially with all the kids being in sport. There's lots of opportunities to meet other parents and make new friendships, so we do carnivals. We also have one here in December. It's probably the second biggest in the Central Highlands region. Must be a bit of a buzz that weekend. Yeah, it is a buzz that weekend. I think last year we had about 190 competitors. So there's that team environment, being part of a team, which is always nice. Sometimes swimming is very individual about what you're doing, but when they go to competitions, it's more about being a part of the team and getting points for your team and mm. trying to get that shield at the end of the day. Do they listen to what you're saying? Yes, they do generally listen to what I'm saying, except for my son, <laughs> because he tells me he can swim better than me, but... <laughs> Next stop, I'm catching up with Felicity Lydon uh, down at the gym. Now here there's a very healthy fitness culture here in town, so let's go and see it in action. Felicity, this is a, a high quality gym. It's great in here. Yeah, no, you've definitely got everything here that you, that you need and you can do pretty much any type of workout that you need to do. Uh, it's open 24-7, which is really handy, especially with um, the mine sites close by. People are on different rosters. So um, it allows people to come any time that suits their, um, their roster. And you literally swipe in, um, it gives you access to anywhere in the gym. Yep. Um, there's cameras around, so if anything ever happens, you're always safe. And there's also gym attendance. I mean, it's important, isn't it, in, in, in any town to have that opportunity to uh, stay healthy. And uh, this is kind of the heartbeat of it, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, and especially, like, it's all in one area. You can um, play squash, you, there's cardio rooms. So let's see, what about gym goers with children? Um, well, they have um, a child mining facility which is available here as well um, during the day. So it allows parents to come drop their children off, come and do a workout. They can go across to the pool. It's definitely a great place to raise your children. It's pretty friendly, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Until it gets competitive around here and people start trying to outlift each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. 